Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley and welcome to this video. This is a card I have to share with you today. Isn't he cute? This little otter swimming. Could be in the sea, could be in wherever he chooses. But I think he's cute. So cute, cute, cute. Let me show you what I did. So, this is the stamp set. It is called Awesome Otters. It is a freebie during celebration. Now, we're in the middle of celebration at the moment, and celebration is one of the most wonderful times of the Stampin' Up! year. In a celebration of every £45 of product you buy, you can choose a free item. And this is one of the items I got free. And aren't they cute? All these little otters. The little one holding his fishy. This one's swimming. This one's having a little dance. And you've got the little party hat. Oh, I think they're adorable. So, we are going to stamp a little otter frolicking in the waves. And I'm going to stamp him in, or her, in Memento. But I want to colour in with my lovely stamp and blend alcohol markers that I really love if you watch my videos you see I use these they're my most used colouring medium even though I do love watercolour I just love how quick and easy colouring with alcohol markers is well let me give this a little clean with my simple chamois so we have a nice clean stamp set Okay, put all of that away. I am only going to be using two different colours, crumb cake and balmy blue. So let me just um, zoom you in so you can see. And we're going to colour these together. So I'm not going to put you on fast forward like I normally do. We're going to colour these together so you can see what I'm doing because they're really quick, easy colouring to do. So I'm going to use the light crumb cake here to colour in this little fella or her. I don't know why I keep saying him why well, I've made it a little boy but there we go such is life I'm just going to I'm going to just cover all of him with or her with this light crumb cake which is a really nice colour, it's craft okay, that'll do and then I'm going to use the darker one to start doing some of the highlights and the shadows, so I'm going to go around his ears, top of his head I'm not really thinking about where the light's coming from, I'm just doing some quick, simple colouring. You can do, obviously, whatever strikes your fancy. It's up to you. So, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And then I'm going to go back to my light colour to blend all of this out. Put another layer down. It really is colouring like a lot of artwork. It's about the layers. You are going to always be doing layers of colour, layers of washes and water colouring. That what allows you to build up the intensity and the saturation of the colour. By still giving you control. Okay, so I've blended that out a little bit, and now I'm going to go back with my dark and just darken up a few little areas where maybe I've blended it out a bit too much, like here and around the, the base. And then back in with my light, just very gently, just taking away any harsh edges. Like that, and that's what we've got so far. A little card. Of course, he's wet at the moment. 
and when it dries, when the alcohol dries off a bit, it happens very quickly, it'll lighten up a little bit as well, so remember that. Let's go in with our blue, and this is going to be balmy blue. I'm just going to cover very randomly the area all around him, and these little few drops that he splashed on himself. As he's frolicking in the waves. I wouldn't suggest going to the seaside here in the UK at the moment. The north, well, I'm of the, I'm in Lincolnshire, so I'm near the seaside. Is the obviously the Lincolnshire coast, and it's the North Sea. I think if you went frolicking in the North Sea at this time of the year, you'd freeze. It's okay for a little, for something like an otter or the seals actually at Donna Nook, because they've got all their nice blubber and fat to protect them. The rest of us will just be a nice cube, I think, by the time we come out. <laughs> Not something I'd recommend it. So you can see here again, I'm just, I'm not being too prissy with this. I'm being quite... And I'm just adding some shadows, like underneath the, t the otter here. It might be a bit dark around him. And then I'm just going to go in with my lighter colour again and just blend some of that out. And I tend to do this, go back and forth until I'm absolutely happy. But again, it's personal preference what you do. I think that's going to be as good as a feast. So that's what we have at the moment. So let's put our markers aside and let me zoom you back out again. And we're out again. Okay, so that's our little fella. See, I keep saying fella, so he's going to be a boy. I'm going to cut him out using this. And this is the rectangle um, stitch dies. And let's see which ones you want to use. I think we're going to need this size for. Let's see if we can get away with a smaller size. No, I feel it's a bit too constrained there. That one will do. And then the next size up, we're going to cut him out of that. I'm going to cut this out of some Misty Moonlight cardstock and I'll be back. Okay, so. We've cut out our little otter and now I'm going to stick it down to my piece of misty moonlight just like that and then I've got here a card base which is again misty moonlight and this is a standard A6 card base that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half A6 card base, I don't know if I said that I'm just going to put a piece here. This is balmy blue, designer series paper on top. So it all matches the colours we've used. And this is just 14.35 centimetres by 10. And this basic white measures the same. And this is going to be the insert. You could stamp this insert if you want. I tend to leave these blank quite often just so I can write my own message or stamp them at a later time when I know what I'm going to use the card for. Okay, so now we're going to pop this up using dimensionals. So let me find some of those. I'm going to use some of these edges to make my life a bit easier. If we can, I'm going to pull a piece of it off. Like that. Let's see if I've got any more edges I can use. I do. Here's more of them. Edges are brilliant, so don't not use what you have. Always use up what you've got. Don't waste any of your dimensionals, they're precious. Um, let me see if I've got some more edges. I do here. 
And I love using my edges for these big things because say it's having to take off a ton of backings. So let's take off these backings now. And it's so much easier just to take off a strip and to have to take off each individual backing. Let's get rid of ah sticking to me. Uh, get rid of these bits. Toodaloo. And let's stick our little otter down. He's so cute. So cute. Okay. There is our little otter stuck down. And that's straight. Oh, it'll do. Okay, let's make a bow. Next problem. As you know, me and bows are not most best of friends, but we are going to attempt to try and do one that looks half decent. Can't get the struggling to get the bits even. Start again. Told you that me and bows are not good friends. Some people seem to make bows like so easily, and other people like me just seem to struggle to make them look nice. I don't know why. Whether there's some, do you think there's some particular gene that helps us tie bows? What do you think? <laughs> okay, that is going to have to do. I give up. That will do. I have faffed long enough with the ribbon. So let's set that aside. We're going to stick this down with some glue dots, which are nearing the end of their life as well. I think there's only just enough left for my ribbon. Isn't that lucky? Just enough. Huh? That's good. Glue dots are finished. Ugh. Just as well I've got another box, isn't it? Can't run out of glue dots. That'd be a disaster. So here we have some of these, whatever these are called, in colour square gems. They call them square gems, I think they're more as enamel dots, but you know, whatever you want to call them, they're pretty. And I'm just going to bring this misty moonlight colour down into the corner here, matching it all. Matchy matchy, trying to get everything looking as straight as well. I can manage it, which is not that straight, but it will do. There we go. We are done. Two cards. Lovely little otters. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. As I said, if you want any more information about this project and the supply list measurements and stuff, it's all on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again. And until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.